tremendous guest with us today and uh, she's joining us uh, via Skype. We are also going to post this on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Jiggy Jaguar. That's J-I-G-G-Y-J-G-U-A-R. Got an incredible, incredible guest with us today. She uh, is joining us uh, to, uh, to talk about a lot of different things. Uh, Amy's website is reachingyourlight.com. And... Uh, Amy Kodesh is with us today. Um, Amy, let's let's talk a little bit about um, your book is amazing. Would you share with us uh, what your book, Tears of Hope, is all about? Yeah, Tears of Hope, it's about uh, my life story growing up in the Middle East in 1975, Lebanese Civil War, uh, when I was just 12 years old. And uh, the experiences that I went through and how I escaped death and um, uh, basically yes it's my story in that book Tears of Hope but then yet I represent a lot of um, the kids women they 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 went through the war at that uh, particular time in 1975 so um, I share my the, the experiences how I escaped death and um, uh, you know what I learned from from the exp- from the war, and uh, it just the, I give the voice to war victims and survivors, uh, how wh- what we did throughout the war, how we survived day to day, as an ordinary person, not as someone uh, popular or somebody uh, a king's daughter or somebody political uh, they, they have a agenda or anything yeah. like that it's just it's just basically a very ordinary person how we live day to day We've got a great guest with us today. Amy joins us today from her website, reachingyourlight.com. That's www.reachingyourlight.com. How have uh, the events in your life changed you? Well, each event I went through, it changed me in different direction. But the most powerful event that changed my life forever is, um, I I could share with you that story. When I was 12 years old, when the Lebanese Civil War started, and my parents wanted to leave the Egypt, and um, we we were preparing to flee the country and for safety, I was happy at that time. I I was dealing with dyslexia. I was uh, held back at school year after year, and uh, I wasn't too happy uh, at school at that you know uh, just repeating my class all the time. So I was enjoying my time sitting with my older brother, Robert, um, beautiful, handsome, had big heart. And and my brother was talking to me about when we travel, he was going to help me to continue my education because I wanted to be a teacher. But there is no way I could be because of my dyslexia. Uh, So I had a great conversation with my brother on that particular day. And the beginning of the war, that was just the beginning of the war. And that particular day, my dad uh, told my brother, don't go anywhere because it seems like the news is not good. And he said, no, don't worry. I'm going to spend time with my sister. And um, he needed to get his tea from the kitchen. I said, well, hold on. I'll, I'll get up and get your tea. I wanted to continue my conversation with him. So I get up to get his tea and uh, turned to- uh, towards the kitchen. I took two steps and... Um, I heard a loud, loud, loud explosion. And in the blink of the eye, the bomb flew in through the window to that living room where I was sitting second before with my brother and killed my brother right in front of my eyes. Wow. (laughs) We've got uh, an incredible guest with us today here on the line. Amy joins us from her website, Reaching Your Light. Dot com. That's www.reachingyourlight.com. Um, give us a give us a little bit more details there. I felt like I, I cut you off before That's before okay. I should have. That's okay. Uh, maybe it's meant to be. Who knows? And and um, in that moment, my mom and my dad they were in the other room, and my mom she lost it completely, and she tried to throw herself from the window where my father was holding her back. 
several times. She's screaming and she panicked completely. And I was looking at the right hand, the room, it's, it was in flames and my brother was burning and then the, the whole house was smoke and the building was five story buildings and each one of the store, uh, one of the uh, story, uh, uh, store, story, store, <laughs> Each one of the apartments yes. was hit with the bomb. Yes. So um, I sat there and uh, was looking at the chaos, what's, what was happening. So I, the first lesson I got from that is I looked at my mom and I saw her how she lost her control of her. Um, and um, I learned that, you know, being in control, it's way more powerful than you know losing your control in that age and also at the same time i learned that there is some things we can't control so i understood the power of control and having control and being in control of your emotions and yourself yes yes so i i really uh, i had to really calm down in that chaos and um not to let my father worry about what's happening with me in that moment because his eyes looked at me and he said like are you okay you yes. know he's looking at me i'm like i'm okay save my mom right now yes so i learned how to be in control of situations I love that. but then three days later after we the, the country shut down um the whole um everyone went in chaos because that was the first of the war i was still shaking and uh, scared so my father and it, back then they really they didn't give attention to kids they more went to the mother she lost her son and uh, all the attention was going to my mom because she she wasn't in control so, but still i was a kid i was scared i was shaking my father came to me he was so so smart he, he he had a lot of wisdom he came to me and he came down and he put his hand on my shoulder and he said are you okay i said no daddy i'm scared and he's and i saw crying and he said but oh, don't be scared i'm here um you're gonna be okay I, and then he said look at me i said i looked at him and he said look look at mo uh, at I looked at his eyes, he said, uh, and then that time I wasn't really understanding what he's trying to do, but I trusted him so much. And I looked at his, I said, do you see the white? I said, yes. And he said, do you see the brown around it? I said, yes. And he said, do you see that small people, the, the black? I said, yes. And he said, sometimes we have to go through darkness in order to see the light that is a tremendous tremendous sentiment we've got uh, a great guest with us today here on the line amy joins us from her website reachingyourlight.com that's www.reachingyourlight.com how and where you uh you share your message kind of break this down for us well, I share my message through through the book first, and then I um, I go out and speak. I speak at churches, um, women events, um, um, any kind of events that where they bring a, a speaker to share their message and walk away with something that will empower their life. And also, I do have my seminar, Reaching Your Light seminar where I have um, created a, a really, what, what people say, powerful event, because I really reach out to their, um, to, to the people who's there and help them live their true purpose. So uh, at my event, uh, really, I have a witness, a lot of people, their life has been changed because of my event. So I do seminar, speaking, and um, um, webinar and all, all kind of things. So they can have more information when they go to my website. Live, um, either live in uh, reachingyourlight.com or empowering souls 
www.bill.int.com. Well, you've got a great guest with us today. Amy joins us today here on Build, Grow, and Enjoy. The website, www.reachingyourlight.com. Um, where can people find the book Tears of Hope? Also, they could find it on my website, uh, reachingyourlight.com. I have it as an ebook where you can download it from anywhere. Thank goodness for the technology. <laughs> and um, I have it on audio, an audio book. Also, they could download it everywhere and they could order it through my website, reachingyourlight.com. And um, the hope of having the book is to help people see their life in different perspective. Really, when, when people read this book, they start to understand uh, how ordinary people live through the war and what they go through darkness and how, how you see the light. Because this is only a couple of things that I shared with you that I learned. And I have lived 13 years throughout the war and then I came to the United States and it wasn't uh, it wasn't really easy to move from country to different country when I had a, a daughter with me and I have no education I basically um, I'm supposed to go back to fourth grade <laughs> because of my dyslexia but um, when you have a mission when you have a purpose and you have a true purpose something it will guide you to really do the impossible possible and um, that's that's where my goal is to help people help them see their own light step into well, their well amy uh tell us tell us a little bit more about your website i know that there's a lot of people that uh, are going to be going over there and checking that out tell us a little more about it well on my website i have created um community and I bring experts to help people in their own day-to-day -day struggle and to give them hope and direction because that's that's very powerful we all have a different thing that we want to reach but then we're lost with our direction and um, of course I can help everyone with everything so whatever I can do I bring different experts to help them uh, see their light and find their way in life. So I have that. And also I have my, uh, uh, the Amy Kodashian show it will be uh, coming up uh, 2014, uh, early 2014. And uh, the seminar, they could sign in for the seminar through my website. And also if they want to book me to come in and speak at their church event, um, I'll be happy to do that. They could reach me through my website too. Now, uh, Amy, let's talk a little bit more about your book here. What inspired you to write this book? Well, what, what I first of all, I, lear I, I learned how to follow my intuition, and uh, something was telling me that my life was saved for a reason, so I need to give hope to other people. Because hope, if you break it down, hope is having open possibilities every day. And... Um, I knew how to do that because of the experience I gained and the wisdom. So what inspired me is I wanted to share the wisdom with others, like my father shared his wisdom with me. I believe that we go through obstacles and challenges because we need to learn from them. And when we learn from them, the most important thing is to be able to share it with others. And I wanted to make sure I do that. I do what my father did. And I hope whoever I help them to do, uh, to live their purpose, they turn around and share their experience with others. I believe we should be supposed to help each other. We've got a great guest with us today. Amy joins us talking about Tears of Hope. And um, Amy's website is reachingyourlight.com. What is the overall theme of your book? The theme is, um, it's, it's basically story after story after story, and it's uh, the lessons that learned from the stories and how I, um, I overcome it, and uh, you could apply it to your life if you, that's something will match whatever you're going through. Um, it's the beauty about that book that I received from other people is this. There is no teaching in it. 
there is a story and tell you what I went through it. So the teaching in it is very, um, not teaching is sharing more than teaching, but not just sharing a story. It's telling how I over, how I did it. So um, that's what you will walk away with. You will walk away with a lot of um, insights, wisdom, um, and you see how other people really could overcome a lot of stuff. Because the, the first story I shared with you, that's only one of many stories that it really, I had to, what, what the war did to my life and did to other people's life. Uh, for example, I had to get married when I was 14. I, I had a daughter when I was 15. I was a single mom, not yet 18. And I was in a country of war and no money, no education, no skills. And there is a lot of lesson comes through darkness. You know, every time I go through darkness, we never stop learning from our, our experiences and or going through something. Some people look at darkness in a bad way. To me, is always there is light, there is lesson that I'm learning from it. And the only thing I could see, I could say, is when we're going through something, this book will show you that there is always obstacles out there. It's not going to stop. It didn't, yes. doesn't stop now, but but you know how to deal with it differently. Well, it's a, a great guest with us today. Amy joins us here on Build, Grow, and Enjoy. Thanks for joining us today, Amy. I really do appreciate the conversation. Thank you for having me. Well, uh, have yourself a wonderful day, and we'll talk soon. Thanks for being with us. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Amy with us today here on B.